The devil is after your soul. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Align yourself with the truths in this video. Take position. God has recruited you to fight among his end time army. All doors are closed by default. Hmm. All doors are closed by default. Listen carefully. All doors, it does not matter what treasure is in them. All doors are closed by default. Hmm. Whether as humans, whether as products, all doors are closed by default. Let's talk about closed doors. Closed doors. Hmm. Luke chapter 11, please. We'll read the first seven verses. I like the way Jesus guides and builds his disciples because he's able to draw stories from the circumstances around them to communicate um, lessons and to grant them spiritual intelligence. He's teaching on prayer now, but then I want us to read from verse 1, but the context begins from verse 5. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Pay attention now, verse 2. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Verse 3. It says, Give us this day, or give us day by day our daily bread for forgive us our sins for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil now the context starts and he said unto them please look up which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight follow the story now and say unto him friend lend me three loves verse 6 for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and i have nothing to set before him verse 7 and he said he from within shall answer and say listen carefully trouble me not why the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed i cannot rise and give you look at this powerful story what you are looking for is available but the distance between you and what you are looking for is a closed door. It says, do not trouble me. I know you have need, shame and reproach is imminent. And it's not like what you are looking for is out of reach. But the only trouble is that the door is now shut. You came at a point where the door was shut. I told you that doors can be closed. Let's look at a few things about closed doors. Let me add one more scripture. Matthew 25 from verse 8 to 10. Matthew chapter 25 from verse 8 to 10. Remember the story of the 10 virgins, five being wise, the other five being foolish. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lambs are gone out. Verse 9. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. He says, But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Verse 10. And while they went out to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. When they returned back, even though with oil, Having oil in your hand and a door shut still kept them outside. You would think that the presence of the oil should naturally remedy for a closed door. Please pay attention. Let's talk about closed doors a bit. Write a few things that I wrote down here. I hope God is speaking to someone. Number one, doors are closed to manage or restrict access until permission is granted. That means not all closed doors are bad. This is what I'm trying to explain. Don't just frown at closed doors like you will be learning. Not all closed doors are bad. For instance, generally speaking now, 
doors are closed to manage or restrict access until permission is granted we have a lot of working people here a lot of business owners entrepreneurs and people in government and generally doors are closed so that access can be managed and restricted until permission is granted you don't enter an office or a house or a door and just walk in even in heaven where there is no evil there are doors because doors manage and restrict access are we together these are the positive side to close doors doors manage or restrict access because if access is not managed like my dearly beloved mentor would say abuse will always be inevitable so there has to be a system of restriction to access and doors provide that opportunity number two closed or sealed doors increase the value of a product closed or sealed doors increase the value of a product is that true imagine with me please look up that you went to buy a product maybe perfume or whatever it is and you find it already open or a beverage and you find it open even if it was open for you you are not going to buy it and you will not place value the value that you place on that product is because you meet it closed and sealed is that true yeah in fact there are products that you will see disclaimers written there that if at, at the point of purchase you find this product open it says to discard or return back is that true so closed doors are not all negative they increase the value of a product in second kings chapter 4 reading from verse 3 and 4 this was the story of the wife of the sons of the prophet when she went to meet elisha he gave her a recommendation verse 3 then he said go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors even empty vessels he said borrow not a few verse 4 and when thou art come in he says thou shalt shut the door upon you and upon your sons you want to increase value and he says you will only do that by shutting the door hallelujah there is no increase in value when doors are unnecessarily open you have to shut the door it was a recommendation that the prophet was given that means let the people not see you while you are preparing they will not place value on the product shut the door while you are pouring the oil what they should see is the finished work even in building when when architectural companies come to build they fence that building first before they start building because if you leave the door open you reveal the security architecture of that building is that true so they put a fence around it because there will be a lift maybe an underground house not all short short or closed doors are dangerous there are many times that doors are short to increase and maintain value is someone learning Hmm. so close or seal doors increase the value of a product number three the third thing you need to learn about closed doors is that generally doors especially when closed protect and preserve doors closed doors can protect and preserve you find that in Genesis chapter 7 from verse 13 to 16 the ark of noah genesis 7 doors protect and preserve he said in the self same day entered noah and shem and ham and japheth the sons of noah and noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark reading to 16 he says they and every beast after his kind and all the cattle after their kind and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and every fowl after his kind and every bird of every sort 15 it says and they went in unto noah in the ark two by two of all flesh wherein is the breath of life verse 16 let's read it together ready one to read and they that went in went in male and female of all flesh as god has commanded him 
and the Lord shut him in. It was God himself that closed that door because a flood was about to come and only the person who had a closed door would be preserved. The, the heavens gave their rain. The earth gave his rain. Only Noah in the ark that God himself closed that door preserved them. So closed doors can protect and preserve. Are we learning? Number four. Now, this is the side of closed doors that we are here to deal with now. Closed doors can be a deliberate hindrance to put a deliberate hindrance put up to hinder progress. Closed doors haven't given you the positive side to closed doors. Closed doors can be deliberate hindrances I wrote here. Put up to hinder progress. An example, prison doors. Prison doors are closed doors that are able to restrict progress. This is the kind of closed door that this prophetic word was designed to deal with. Closed doors can be deliberate hindrances put up to hinder progress. An example are the prison doors. Are we learning now? So that when you are rebuking closed doors, you know which closed door you are rebuking. Lest you rebuke what was supposed to preserve you, add value to you. You see that we, we are a people of spiritual intelligence. You don't just shout when you are saying every closed door. You mean every closed door that has been put as a system of restriction. Are we together now? Because closed doors can manage or restrict access. They can increase the value of a product. They can protect and they can preserve. But then they can be a deliberate hindrance put up to hinder progress. Now, let's look at how to open closed doors. Light is coming to someone now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know, revelation is so powerful. It can bail you out of ignorance in a moment and set you on course for a life of victory. While I was preparing this note, I had to just stop, rest my head and shout and say, God, 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 this God. Number one, how to open closed doors. Are you ready? The first key or the first um, mystery that is given to us from scripture as far as opening closed doors is concerned is the use of the right keys the first way we open closed doors is by using the right key or the right keys closed doors are opened by using the right keys please underline right keys a wrong key does not open a closed door, even though it is a key. Hallelujah. There are many of us who every house, I presume, has multiple doors. And sometimes every one of those doors would have a unique key. Is that true? The key that may open the main door may not open the kitchen door. So you can have a key, a correct key, meant for another door. If it is the kitchen that you want to open, you must use the key that is meant for the kitchen. I think there has been a mix-up of this, especially in the body of Christ. And you've heard me say it again and again. There is a mix of different keys, believing that because they are divine keys, they will open every door. An example, using prayer and fasting alone as the ultimate key to prosperity and the manifestation of prosperity it doesn't work that way no prayer and fasting in addition to other things is what will guarantee the manifestation of the blessing of the lord upon an individual prayer and fasting on its own does not take ignorance or an example is 
Bible study without the ministry of the Holy Spirit, it will only end you to become a religious person with nothing potent to produce result. Or submitting to the ministry of the word and ignoring the ministry of prayer and fasting. No. Jesus himself, I've clarified this many times in this house. He calls himself the word and yet his life was invested in prayer. Even as he's seated at the throne of heaven now, he's not quoting scriptures, he's making intercession. That is the value he has for prayer, even though being the word. Are we together? So the first way we open closed doors in this kingdom is the use of the right keys. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 7, please. Revelations 3, 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, we read that earlier, but let's just read again for emphasis. This thing saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David. There's a separate teaching coming on that, so I'm not going to talk so much about that. The Bible says by that key he can open and no man can shut, and he can shut and no man can open. It takes more than desire for doors to be open. It takes the right key. Someone say the right key. Luke eleven fifty two. Luke chapter 11, please, and verse 52. Woe unto you lawyers, Jesus is speaking, for ye have taken away the key of knowledge. So keys there refer to a body of truth, a body of knowledge. It says, ye entered not in yourself through that knowledge, and them that were entering you have hindered. So he was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees. The doctors of the law at that time and he was telling them listen you have you have taken away the key of knowledge access to knowledge that means that knowledge is supposed to usher you into realms to open doors for you you didn't enter yourself and you have restricted those who desire to enter the right key in the name of Jesus my prayer for someone this year is that God will grant you grace to find the right key Please shout a believing amen. amen that God will grant you grace to find the right key amen. many of you have been holding keys but could it be that the key you have been holding is not for the door you are looking for and I will give you the keys of the kingdom the keys of the kingdom in most large houses they put all their keys together or at least maybe one one each of the keys and they put it together in a bunch and keep it somewhere safe is that true yes so that you can have it within your reach if it's the main door you are opening you have it there if it's a kitchen door the bathroom door you have it there for most of us you have been given these keys but because of carelessness you scattered your keys like the bones in ezekiel's valley and you cannot construct it together to become something exceedingly great this is the year God is granting you grace to gather them together. Amen. Hallelujah. The first way we open closed doors is through the use of the right keys. This talks of knowledge. This talks of understanding. This talks of faith. You need knowledge and you need understanding. It is my prayer and my determination this year to bring light like never before truth upon truth line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little to the end that god will grant us grace that with light we will be able to rise the bible says that we are able to show the praises of him that has called us from darkness into his light hallelujah number two how do we open closed doors are you ready the second way according to scripture that closed doors are opened is by knocking. By knocking. Knocking here means obtaining help from men through mercy and favor. Don't forget this. The second way that closed doors are opened is by knocking. Every time you knock a door, it is because you do not have the power to open it yourself. If you have a key, you do not need anybody helping you. Are we together now? Once you have a key, you do not need anybody helping you. The key itself will open. In fact, sometimes you don't even need to speak. The moment there is a key, the door opens. But 
the moment you do not have a key and you need that door open another system that god put is to knock because the one who opens has access to the door but now you need entrance but you do not have the key is someone learning now knocking knocking talks about obtaining help from men through the ministry of mercy and favor we already looked at matthew 7 from verse 7 to 8 the bible says knock and it shall be open to you you are not the one who will open it it shall be open to you there are doors that need to be opened but not by you directly they must be open for you the most important thing is that they are open so that you will enter at such points Playing around with a key, around a door that you don't have authority over, will only waste your time. What you need to do is to knock. The Bible says in verse 8, For everyone that knocketh, it shall be opened. Yeah. Hallelujah. This is where the ministry of mercy and favor comes. There are doors you need opened by all means, but you may not have the spiritual capacity. You don't have the key. But there are people that have the key what you need to do is to master the art of knocking those who can knock will have many doors open that is not credited to their personal efforts there are people behind at the other side of that door they have access to it all you need to do is to learn how to knock is someone learning second corinthians 2 and verse 12 second corinthians 2 and verse 12 furthermore he said paul was speaking now giving them a story i just picked a verse that i found interesting there he says when i came to throw us to preach christ's gospel he says and a door was open unto me of the lord who opened the door for him the lord the door was open but he never mentions using a key to open that door he says it was open unto me in fact one last scripture revelations 3 and verse 20 very popular scripture revelations 3 20 behold i stand who is speaking here jesus standing at the door of your heart and knock because even though he's the creator of the ends of the earth when he created man he made you a free moral agent that even though he is god it becomes scripturally incorrect for him to budge into your life and he's patient enough if god knocks you must learn how to knock there are certain doors that you will need to hide your pride and knock this year there are doors of grace doors of power because it is only those who knock that will have that door open is someone learning not every door every door may respond to keys but you may not have the privilege of access to every key yet you need every door that should be open open so you must know how to knock to knock requires patience to knock requires persistence is someone learning now let's go to Luke 11 and finish up the scripture that we started now God is giving someone wisdom already Matthew chapter I mean Luke chapter 11 from verse 7 now remember our story where the guy began to knock and say please help me with three loaf of bread I want to give my friend and the man said trouble me not the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed are you seeing that that door was positively closed for the man and his children but with respect to the one who needs help that door needs to be opened he said i cannot rise and give thee what did the man do i say unto you though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend yet because of his importunity the word importunity is the word persistence he said he will rise and give him as many he asked for three but he said you can even get more by knocking your intention was to get three loaf but knocking is so powerful it can give you more knocking does not only give you a job it can create a destiny for you Is someone learning knock to everyone that knocks Matthew 7 7 and 8 when you read amplified it says ask and keep asking seek and keep seeking 
it says knock and keep knocking and the door will be open unto you is someone learning knocking talks of obtaining help from men listen as far as the opening of doors are concerned you will need the ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor the ministry of mercy and the ministry of favor there are many doors you will encounter in your life and your destiny that you may not have the key yet that door needs to be opened you will have to knock if i come to your office for instance i will have to knock at the door and then you come and open is that true when you open it is your opening that gives me access that means i must pray for something to happen to your heart for that door to be opened the friend here said i know you are my friend but i'm sorry right now i'm in bed with my children my apologies go away and the man kept may god put it in the heart of someone this year to rise up and see to it that every closed door is open over your life in the name of jesus christ you heard some of the testimonies here let me tell you i have taught you and i will keep teaching you till it enters your spirit that all blessings come from god through men to men to men believe me men can be used by god to open doors doors very strange doors of opportunity may that be your testimony are you ready for number three how do we open closed doors the third is by supernatural power the third way doors are open is by the ministry of warfare and power the supernatural power of god because there are doors especially demonic doors that will not open except and unless force is engaged acts chapter 6 from verse 25 Acts chapter 6 and verse 25. Give it to us please. Acts 6, 25. Acts 16, my apologies, 16, 25. Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang unto God and the prisoners heard them. There were many prisoners in that prison some were interested in going out others were interested in remaining there paul and silas said no way we will not remain here verse 26 and suddenly there was a great earthquake in a prison so that the foundations of the prison were shaking a key cannot do this one there are a key can quietly open the door but when it is supernatural power both the door the foundation of the house must know that it is god coming in the name of jesus i prophesy to someone it is not only keys that will open some doors the great power of god is about to swing open ancient doors in the name of jesus christ give us that scripture so that the foundations of the prison were take were shaken when it is the power of god the doors do not open one by one he said and all doors were open no key but power don't you think keys are the only ways doors are open when the power of god comes it may not be the time of the stirring of the water but you will still say stand up you don't need to wait once per year there is a supernatural dimension to opening doors there are times when keys fail there are times when the hearts of men fail at that time resort to the one who can send an earthquake from heaven to the earth it's not only a door that he opens the bible says the foundations of the prison and immediately when it is god it does not take time immediately immediately not later not next week not next month immediately hold on please 
please ladies and gentlemen think about this I watch this sometimes in my own boring way my apologies I just you know sometimes I'm watching videos I like to watch videos of demolitions of houses large structures and then sometimes this this you know the 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 machines that squeeze metals and just break them and I I have never been I get so amazed that a car will be put in that machine and in less than one minute it will squeeze it like a rack I have seen many of you here construction engineers and you know that it can take three years five years ten years 30 years to build a skyscraper and in a moment using explosives you watch it come down everybody watch 9-11 in a moment it came down when it is God he has no time to come key by key the entire foundation must go down my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by we have seen what happens when doors are open a key can only open one door at a time listen if there are 10 doors you will have to go and open one there are doors that you have to turn them three times and superior security doors like we have today they use iris fingerprints all kinds of things it will take a while many of you here are into security and logistics you don't if, if you are if you are you go to the bulk room of a bank for instance you're not going to turn a key two times for it to be open no for some of you your loved ones found the key but the time it would take for that key to work they died trying to open that door it was a right key but all the things to engage with respect to time notice the character of the power of God they prayed and they sang God never called the jailer God never asked the strength of the foundation who designed it that is none of his business they prayed and they sang and God said clear the way in listen listen in Acts chapter 12 you see when Peter was bound hand and feet it was an angel that was sent there was no earthquake prayers was made without ceasing, and an angel came he opened the doors and they went out but when God came Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Who can stand? Who can stand against the King? No one can, and no one will. Hear me. Let me speak to someone. This year, your family is about to experience something who have been bound I'm speaking prophetically age long captivities that have tied people down in the name of Jesus the mighty warrior the terrible one will arise as a warrior that he is and the foundations of many families will be rattled everything that has not been planted by God must give way 